all right boys so all right boys so this is the video about this is why nnn is so important for young men okay so this is the video how why nnn is so important for young men to do so i've just wrote down the points of like the one two three four they are the four points and i'm going to explain you the four all four points and let's start with the first point that is confidence so how fapping destroys your confidence so i want to emphasize on this a lot okay so i'm a i'm a very like a very good victim of this if uh, you want to know how why fapping destroys your confidence i'm i'm a victim of this you can ask me how when you relapse okay so when you relapse you kind of go in depression okay you 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 might know that the what type of depression it is what type of guilt depression or that sense of uh, shame it is okay when you relapse so you go in that sense of shame depression and uh, guilt okay it's very bad for us to go in that state of depression because we as human are not made to go in that state okay and then after coming out of that state like, like it's very difficult to come out of that state so after this when you go in the public you go and meet people you go and socialize you don't have that sense of confidence like for what is confidence what is confidence confidence is just reflection of your achievements the more thing you have achieved in your life the more thing you have achieved in your day reflects your confidence the less thing you have achieved in your day reflects your low confidence and now uh, how nnn will skyrocket your confidence so it will skyrocket your confidence okay i want you to imagine that it's been a week you haven't relapsed how are you feeling you might have already experienced that type of feeling like going on one week of no fab and then breaking the streak okay you already know how it feels right you feels very calm unfrustrated relaxed and confidence calm unfrustrated relaxed and confidence you feel confidence why you feel confidence because you have that sense of one week of no fab achievement in your mind imagine imagine this on two weeks three weeks four weeks one month two months how much more confidence will you get next point is mind clarity mind clarity mind clarity is like you're not overthinking okay mind clarity is you're not overthinking you are not stimulated your mind right like right now i'm recording this video i'm just getting thoughts of what i can say about this mind clarity topic i'm getting thoughts of like oh yeah mind clarity is when you don't get overthinking thoughts mind clarity is when you are doing a task and you don't think about the other task that's what's called mind clarity your mind is so clear about the thing you are just focused on one thing and that's so clear in, clear to you that you just do it like you have to do and you have to do an assignment <clears throat> let's say a project you have to do a project file you have to complete a project file you're so clear so determined that yeah this these are the things you have to purchase these are the things that you have to paste in that file you have to root down you have to make the pdf you have to print out these things you are so clear about those things when you have a clear clear path to go you just go in that path okay you just go in that path and rather than you have a like very much zigzag path okay zigzag paths to go and then it gains your mind clarity because when you relapse okay when you relapse you in your subconscious mind you're thinking about that relapse okay you're thinking about that video which you have watched whilst you were relapsing okay uh, we all know this state okay so does that means relapsing takes your mindfulness takes you away from present moment let's say you are talking with your friend and you settle you're not you're not actually talking with your friend your mind is still on that last night video which you were watching whilst you were relapsing mind clarity with nnn you will get a lot more mind clarity 
and uh, like you now you are no more a fapper so you don't get uh, to see those videos you like uh, like you're not relapsing so you are not i'm assuming you're not watching those kinds of videos so your mind is a lot more empty okay your mind is all empty now you're thinking about just oh what i have to do in the dinner what do i have to do in dinner what would i hit today in gym your mind is filled with this type of stuff which is good your mind is filled with positive and like a good stuff a day-to-day -day stuff which a normal human should have in his mind okay mind clarity that's it okay so the third point is more energy more energy <laughs> like this point is very very uh this point is very funny because we know that you'll get more energy right because when we relapse listen to me carefully when we when you relapse you sort of you sort of uh, expose your energy you spread yeah that's the word spread your energy around okay so when you don't relapse you retaining retaining that energy you're reserving that energy in your body if let's put it in this way when you relapse okay when you relapse you feel weak right you feel depressed and you feel frustrated you feel de depressed frustrated uh, you get more mood swings you you feel like shit okay you feel like shit and with all that in your mind how does your body gets energy how will your body gets energy if depression is into your mind if uh, if depression is into your mind if uh, all that kind of thoughts all those negative thoughts into your mind how would you come to get energy when you quit fapping you actually quit all those thoughts you actually quit all those negative states of mind okay you all you just quit all those negative thoughts and now your body is f empty and your mind is and now your mind is all empty you don't have those negative thoughts in your mind so your body will react to your positive thoughts in your mind okay your body will react to positive thoughts in your mind which we have just planted of what we have to what we have to eat in dinner what what we have in dinner what we have to hit in gym and what teacher is going to teach in this in the next class okay so we have all those thoughts and your body will react on those thoughts not on those negative thoughts your body will react on those positive and on good thoughts the last point is your friends will distract you if you know about your mind if you know anything about our mind you already know that what we hear what we see what we smell what we speak is in our mind okay constantly being a person being a type of person like you're constantly being a type of person who is frustrated constantly being a type of person who is complaining all the time not doing work that just reflects your personality that's showing what is really inside of your mind right you get the point so how we behave reflects the state of our mind does that make sense so mind reflects our behavior our behavior reflects the state of our mind does that mean our state of mind can change our behavior or our behavior can change our state of mind so when you don't watch those type of videos when you don't relapse your mind has got your mind has got not no negative connections your mind does not have any negative source of information okay to get polluted so your mind is all all pure that's that's the story when you're home okay that's all the story when you're home you're alone now what about when you're with your friends the story is completely different your friends don't got that same mindset as you so you are on no fab you read books you're no fab you meditate you go gym you what about your friends your friends ain't got that traits 
your friends don't have that nature and we all know that quote that you are the average of five person you spend time with we all know that quote and that's fucking true because if you live with degenerates if you live with degenerate you'll end up becoming a degenerate right if you live with good people you'll end up becoming a good person if you live with successful people you'll end up becoming a successful people and that's a very very like reflecting behavior of a human what we humans see what we humans hear what we humans say we adapt it okay so you have all if you have all that negative friends in your life you will attract negative negativity if you have all positive friends in your life you will attract positivity with you which will helps you in your no fab journey a lot more i hope this video helps you i hope you understand all the points and uh, best of luck boys for your no fab journey okay